Hello and welcome to this Model Converter X video tutorial. In this video tutorial I want to demonstrate some of the features of the hierarchy editor. Partly it's a repetition of features that have been in there for quite a while already, but I will also demonstrate the newly edited capability to modify the material of a model part. So for this tutorial I've loaded one of the default aircraft of Flight Simulator X. Uh, and I'm going to show you what kind of manipulations you can do to the model part of, of the stairs here. On the top left, I've loaded the material editor, and you can see that there are a couple of materials in this model. And on the bottom left, I've loaded the hierarchy editor. This shows you the, the hierarchy of the model. It shows you all the nodes and the parts and how they are related uh, to each other. But this editor does not only show the hierarchy, you can also make some uh, modifications to the model in it. So let's have a look at that. Over here I have selected the model part of the stairs. You can see it's highlighted in the preview over here as well. And you can see that this is a, is a model part node. It has no visibility condition, no mouse rectangle. It has an animation applied to it. Uh, it has a material. And the, not the hierarchy editor doesn't only show you this information, but you can also modify this information. So if you click here on the none for the visibility condition, which means that it has no visibility condition at the moment, you will get a drop down list that shows you all the visibility conditions that have been defined uh, within your model dev.xml file. And then you can select one that you want to apply to this model part. I'm not sure if there's one really suitable for the stairs, but let's say I will give it a, a light APU visibility condition. And then when you export the model, it will now have the visibility condition set on that node. Same goes for the mouse rectangles. Of course, it doesn't make sense to set a mouse rectangle on this exterior model. Uh, they are typically used in the uh, virtual cockpit models. But the principle is the same. You get a whole list of all the mouse rectangles that have been defined in the model dev.xml file. You can select the one you want, and then it's set on that node. If you want to change it, you can just select another one and assign that. And if you want to remove the mouse rectangle or the visibility condition again, you can select the none value at the top of the list again, which sort of re removes it again from the model. Let me also do that with that visibility condition because it's not applicable to these stairs as well, of course. So you can change visibility condition and mouse rectangles here. You can do the same with the animation. Here you see there's a position and a rotation animation and they're driven by the uh, F underscore canopy animation. But if I click here on that name, I can select any other animation that's being defined in the model draft to the XML file again. So I can give it a gear animation or uh, you know, whatever animation you want. So this way you can make yeah, some modifications to your model or add visibility conditions, uh, change animations, uh, things like that from the hierarchy editor. Those features to edit animations, visibility conditions and mouse rectangles have been in the uh, hierarchy editor for quite a while already. But what I've added recently is the ability to modify the material as well. And to show how that works, let me first deselect the highlighting, because then we can see the model part a little bit better. Um, so here the material is shown that's currently applied to the model. And if I click on that list, I get a list of all the materials in the model. And you see it matches the list you see above here in the material editor as well. And I can just select one of the other materials. So let me click this one. And now you see that the stairs have been given the other material that the model already uses. Of course, the mapping looks very funny now because this new material was not meant for the stairs, but it's, it's just to demonstrate what you can do. And I can change it back again as well, of course, or I can assign another material. So with this ability to change materials, you can yeah, give a model part a different material than it had before. Um, sometimes maybe you want to uh, assign a new material based on an existing material, but you don't want uh, 
future changes that you make to the material to apply to all the parts that have that material. So let's, for example, say um, that I apply this material uh, CRJ701T again. You can see with the, with the yellow highlighting, it's it used uh, on, the, on, the, on the fuselage of the aircraft as well. But let's say I want to tweak that material for the stairs, but those changes should not be applied to the fuselage as well. If I now, I've now assigned that material, but the same material is applied to both parts. If I, I can show you here, okay. if I highlight this material and say highlight selected, you see both the fuselage and the stairs are shown. Maybe that's not what I want because the stairs, I want to manipulate them. What you can do then is while you're selecting the new material that you want to use, if you hold down the control button while you click on the material, Model Converter X will not simply assign that material, but it will make a copy of the material and assign that copy to the selected model part, while the other part of the model has, still has the original model, uh, the original material. So as you can see here, this material is applied to the fuselage and this material is applied to the stairs. So now I can modify some attributes of this material it will only apply to the stairs, while the fuselage still has the original material. So to sum that up, just like for the visibility condition, mouse rectangle and the animations, you can click on the material name. You will get a drop down menu that shows you all the materials uh, in the model and you can select the one you want to apply to the model part. And if you hold down the control button while clicking on the material, it will assign a copy of that material so that you can modify its attribute, uh, attributes without affecting other parts that use the same material. I hope this feature is useful and if you have any questions about it, feel free to post them on the forum. Thank you for watching.